gold. What evil looks the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snow. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I compare the game Blueprint on the Atari 2600, the Atari 26, uh, no, the Atari 8-bit home computers, and uh, <coughs> the Commodore 64. And I start with the 2600. And I know this game from the Commodore 64, I think. I played it as a kid. And you have to recover part of the blueprint. Which I hidden. No. In the house. <laughs> oh, this one. No. And if you go to the wrong house, you pick up a bomb instead. Ah, shit! Also, if you go into a house where you already picked up a, a part. Totally forgotten where the there it is. And if you finished what? Okay. And why is it so slow? How am I supposed to hit? Pure coincidence. And you should remember where the parts are. I can't. I have a terrible memory. No. And I do not like the music. Shit. I think he was one. And it's even the right part. Hey, cool. And I think this is sort of a time limit. Which really doesn't help with this game. Yeah, it's a time limit. As if the game isn't hard enough as it is. No, it's a fucking bomb. I'm really not a big fan of this sort of game. No, there wasn't. Was it here? No! Shit. Okay, that was the 2600 version. Let's continue with the home computer. Okay, back with the home computer version. And this is more like uh, I remember it from back in the days. The 
you didn't have uh, to collect those pieces in order. It's not the greatest game in the world. Still played it a couple of times. Oh, that's very unfair. And to me, at least, uh, this makes a lot more sense than the 2600 version. Shit. Yeah, nice and colorful graphics. Even the sprites are quite nice, but I still don't like the game too much. Come on, go into the pit. And I think you have to finish the blueprint before this monster catches up to the girl. That's the last fucking piece. Yeah, it's not of my favorite. Games, yeah, where is the last piece? Didn't I check all the houses already? There's a bomb. And I know I checked the one down there. Another bomb. More oh, fuck. Yeah, did check that. Also check that. I want to, at least I want to show you this. And it's even crappier than on the 2600. And I have no idea why it doesn't shoot up all the time. Makes no sense to me at all. Yeah, this really sucks. Yeah. No skill involved. And the same thing all over again. Blueprint doesn't change. Only the graphics change a little, the color and the arrangement of the houses is different. Great. I did not want to go into this house. Oh, 
Oh shit. And this monster uh, screws up with your blueprint. If you don't catch a shit about it. It's not a horrible game. What a okay. Then I'm pretty sure where the two remaining parts are. Yeah, the shooting is really weird. Really weird. No clue. Is the game over? I think it's the game over. Okay, let's continue with the Commodore 64. Okay, finally the Commodore 64 version. And it... Compared to the Atari version it looks terrible and... You have to be... Very... Exact... In the maze. Didn't feel... Like that on the Atari. Ah, shit. I think I've already been here. Yes, I have. Yeah, the machine that you're building looks a little bit more colorful. That's the only graphical improvement over the Atari version. Everything else looked better on the Atari. Come on. And the time limit is not very generous in this game. Ah shit, and with not very generous I mean not generous at all. Something screwed up with the blueprint. Now where's the final part? Oh come on! That's the final. Yeah, controls are really awesome. Not that the game. Itself is very great. And let's see. Pure luck. Pure luck. The music is also not the greatest. And this monster was not in 
the Atari version, I think. Oh shit. That really helps with the tight time limit. Great! Awesome. that was Blueprint. Uh, not a huge fan of this game. If you want to try it I recommend the 8-bit uh, Atari home computer version. Commodore 64 version doesn't feel that great and uh, the 2600 version uh, it's probably okay for the 2600 but it's quite different. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.